Hello everyone and welcome to this uh, video. So I will talk briefly about the admission criteria and the application procedure for EPFL. So first of all, this video is not official in any way. So uh, please go fact check me if I do some mistakes, correct them in the comments. And of course, this video is not official by any way. The only official information is available on the EPFL website. I'm doing this video in English because I had a quite a lot of questions in English about this, that's why I'm doing it uh, in English and not in French. So sorry for my English, I didn't speak English for months before uh, doing this video. So um, first of all, I will talk about the admission criteria. So for Swiss people, it's actually quite straightforward. They actually just need their uh, maturity gymnasial, which is their high school diploma. And so they just need uh, their maturity gymnasial and they could go to EPFL in any uh, section they want. They, they can also ask to go to the CMS. So for those who don't know, this, the CMS is actually a foundation year in math and physics um, designed to um, prepare students for the bachelor studies. So usually when you succeed at the CMS, you succeed at the bachelor studies. And so Swiss people can go there if they want to, they can volunteer to go there. And then uh, if they fail this uh, foundation year, they can still go to the bachelor, which is not the case of, the, of uh, people coming not from Switzerland. So then the most interesting part is about uh, EU students and especially French students. So um, for us, we actually need um, a high school diploma with a final grade more than 80%, superior to 80% of the maximum grade. So for instance, if you're for France, from France, the maximum grade is 20, so you need more than 16. And you also need to also have come some additional conditions. So on the final diploma, you need uh, the final certificate. You need uh, math and physics written somewhere. So it means that uh, for French people, you need to take specialty math and physics both in première and in terminal. You also need to take a uh, second language, so English, and your natural language, uh, national language, so French or anything else. So that's from uh, students with. Uh, with a diploma from EU or the EFTA, so I think it's Norway, uh, Liechtenstein and stuff like that. So that's for, that's for us. Then for people coming from outside the EU or outside the EFTA, they actually need, um, it's the same conditions, but they can't join directly the bachelor, they have to go through the foundation year, so the CMS. So, but it's quite the same conditions, and so they just can't go to directly to the, to the, to the bachelor studies. And also important things, if you're doing a lycée français in like um, some places, I know there are some in Morocco or some in Tunisia, stuff like that. If you're doing a lycée français and you have a baccalaureate, it doesn't matter, you can still go to... Um, so the conditions that apply for you are actually the, uh, the conditions for the EU uh, countries. So the, the conditions applying are like the conditions of your diploma, not of where you are studying. So you can be studying in like, I don't know, India or China. If you have a French diploma, it's like the French conditions that apply. And so that's quite it for the conditions. Also important stuff, if you, if you, if you have the Swiss nationality, uh, you can go to the CMS if you have less than 80% of the grade. So for French people, it's usually if you have like between 14 and 16 and you have the Swiss nationality, you can ask to go to the CMS instead of going directly to the, to the bachelor. And that's it, I think, for the, for, the, for the admission criteria. Then important stuff also, if you don't meet the criteria, you can go through the, something called the uh, admission uh, exam. So the entrance exam, so it's quite hard, so you can't actually just like succeed to it with just the uh, high school diploma, you actually need like more stuff. So it's like linear algebra, um, analysis, physics, geometry and stuff like that. It's actually, the level expected uh, is actually the level of people which uh, who have done like one year of CMS before. So that's why it's quite hard and you can't just do it with a uh, high school diploma. And also important stuff to note, if you've got an international baccalaureate, you can go to uh, EPFL. If you have more than 38 out of uh, 42, I think. And if you have got like a bit less, you can go if you're Swiss, I think. And yeah, that's it for the admission criteria. And then for the application procedures, some important deadlines first. So actually, um, you have until the end of April to uh, give you give some um, administrative papers, so such as the identity photo, uh, yeah, and stuff like that. So everything is written on the on the website. Some important stuff uh, to know are that the for the identity photo, 
uh, there are some strict conditions and like usually they uh, just refuse your photo if you don't uh, like uh, strictly meet the, the conditions so be be careful with that and I think that's it uh, yeah uh, also important stuff uh, so for the uh, yeah for July you have until July to just send your uh, high school diploma and also some um, your grades and your high school diploma so just like just send them and they will like let you know if you go to EPFL or not during the summer and also one of the most important things of this video is that if you want to apply to EPFL you can actually choose uh, your change your section like you can uh, you can choose to apply in physics for instance and like two weeks before the you have until two weeks after the beginning of the courses to change so for instance if you hesitate between math and physics you can actually apply now in math or in physics it doesn't really matter and you have until like the end of December uh, the end of September sorry uh, to change your mind and to choose between math and physics so if you hesitate between two things or more just apply in one of them and you can change change your mind until uh, the end of September so it's really good to know so don't uh, stress too much about it just put something and you have like a few more months to decide and I think that's all about the admission procedure. If I forgot something or if you have something important to say, just put it in the comments. And yeah, I would be happy to answer all your questions about it uh, in the comment section. So don't hesitate to ask me. And yeah, that's it. Bye-bye.